Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful classic honeycomb earrings. They're easy to make, I'm using only two sizes of seed beads that you could find basically anywhere in any beading store and uh, when I show you step by step how I'm making them, I'm sure even if you're a beginner you're going to be able to make them. So if you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. In this way, you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donation to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the material. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are 11 o seed beads and 8 o beads. And these are ear wires and jump rings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. Size 10 beading needle, scissors and these are pliers. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm back and what I'm going to do is take six of these beautiful creamy white beads. Okay, these are six beads here that I have here and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop and going with my tail thread twice through this loop I've made and now I will make one more knot just like this and pull and now I have this and I will go through some beads in this direction okay and now I'm going to take one of these beautiful dark or chameleon beads and go through the following white one more go here through the following and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay guys, and now I have this beautiful cute element here and what I do is that I go through one of my dark 11 0 beads, okay? And now I'm going to take six more of these beautiful creamy beads, okay? I have here my six and I'm going around in circle through this dark bead. Okay, and what I do is the same thing like I did before, going through the first creamy bead, taking one dark bead, go through the following, and pull. one more and I will continue this until the end of this row okay guys and here at my last step I'm going through these two white beads I'm skipping this one here uh, that is from my previous element and now guys, I'm exiting through this dark bead here. And what I want to do as I'm exiting from here, what I want to do is take five of these beautiful beige beads. You see, five this time. 
and I'm going through the next dark bead okay and I'm taking one white bead going through the following dark and pull just like this then through the next HO 1110 and continue this until the end okay and here at my last step what I want to do is go directly through the white beads okay just like this okay now I have this now what I do is that I go <coughs> through the next dark bead and I'm going to repeat the same process five beads go here through these darks take one white bead go here then through this white bead and continue this Okay, and now I'm going to repeat this here. Okay, five beads. One here in the center. And continue the same way. Okay, one more time here. I will show you faster this time. Okay. Now guys, here I will do something differently. You see what I did? I did one round element in the center surrounded by one, two, three, four, five elements. And here I will add the sixth one. But in order to add it, you see as I'm exiting from this central dark bead, I will take one, just one ho and go through the following dark bead okay and here i will take four ho's this time four okay and i'm going through the other dark bead dark 11 -0. okay and then i will take one more so i took one then four then one more i still have six beads guys I still have six beads here added okay all of my elements consist of six beads but some of them share beads and this is how this beautiful honeycomb pattern is shown okay now I do the same thing like I did before, just adding dark beads between the atos like this. Here 
I have this dark bit already added, so I'm just going through it. Through the following white and here I go directly through the white. And you see how my work is beautifully formed here. Okay. Now guys, I prefer to flip my work. I'm going here through this bit that's sticking out the most, okay, this one. And what I want to take are three dark beads. And I'm going back in circle here, okay. Then I go through the white and through the following dark bead or chameleon bead. Okay. Then I'm taking two dark beads. I go through the following dark here. And through the next bead that's sticking out the most. Okay. Here I take three. I go through this one, through the white and through the following dark. Okay, two. Go through the next. And here. Take three, go back in circle, just like this. Two, and continue doing this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding the last two beads from this row. If you forgot how I did it, just rewind this video and see how I'm doing the previous steps and repeat them until the end of this circle. Okay, now what I do is that I'm going through three from these four beads. I'm taking one dark bead, one white bead and one dark bead. Okay, this is what I have on my needle. And I'm going back through these two beads in the center. The central two of my four beads. Okay, now this is what I have. Then I'm going through all of those beads in this direction. If you want, you could go through the central HO. If not, you could go directly through the white beads. The important thing is to go out here through the first one to three beads of these four and take one dark, one HO and one dark bead and go back in circle through these two central beads of my four. Okay. Then I'm going through this white. If you cannot go in one movement through those beads, go one by one. Because here you see the work is tight and it's not very easy to go in one movement. So I will go in two or three movements. Okay, now I'm exiting from this central beads and I'm taking those beads going back in circle through these two middle beads okay you see here the loop I'm having you see and I pull and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row okay now what I want to do is go here through these beads and exit here okay I'm exiting out of this bead and now it's easier for me to flip my work I'm exiting out of this bead, 
from the outside to the center and I'm going to take one seed bead and go here in the following seed bead and this time I'm going from the center to the outside edge then I'm going through two beads from the outside to the center I take one bead and I go from the center to the outside Okay. then again through this white and this dark bead okay I take one bead and go from the center to the outside edge then through two beads and again from the center to the outside edge Okay, then from the outside to the center and one bead and from the center to the outside okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row And I'll find a place to make a knot and cut my thread and in order to do this I'm going here through some beads what I do is that I make a loop between two beads and I go once then I go second time through this loop I've made I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull then I go through some beads in this direction and I could repeat this knot several times just to be sure that everything is nice tight and secure okay make sure you are between two beads and pull and after I'm ready I will go through the next seed bead remember to never cut next to a knot and cut my thread and now guys it's time to finish my earring by adding the ear wire and in order to add it I will open up here my jump ring I'm going inside this atoll okay and I will put, put here my jump ring and what I do is that I squeeze back here okay and now guys my earring is ready okay guys and now my classic honeycomb earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from me